Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of event and listener in Laravel and when in which case you may want to use event and listener, especially if you're creating a project that would be used potentially by someone else, like you're creating open source package or open source project and you would create events for others to listen in the future and you don't know exactly how they would listen to them and what they would do in that case. And this example that you can see on the screen comes from open source project. This one called Cachette open source status page system created mostly by James Brooks from core Laravel team now. And Cachette has a filament dashboard, which by the way, I was reviewing video by video on my other channel filament daily. So you may check that out. I will link that in the description below. But in that dashboard, one of the buttons for subscribers list is called verify and verify is an action button on filament table. You don't need to learn filament to understand this line of PHP and Laravel code. Callback function subscriber is eloquent model and we perform record verify. By the way, side note, it's a pretty good example of hiding the implementation of verification under specific method in eloquent model. So controller, or in this case, filament resource, doesn't know anything about how that verify works inside. So instead of writing like 10 lines of code here, you create a specific function called verify, which looks like this. First, we check if the record is already verified, then we don't do anything. Otherwise, we update verified add to now. And then this is the main topic of this video. We're calling an event subscriber verify dispatch with this as a parameter, which is the same model of subscriber itself. Now, the main idea and the point of this video is that Cachette doesn't have a listener for that. So on GitHub, if we try to search for that subscriber verified in all the project on the sidebar, you can see that it's just the same class. And then the only other file where that is referenced is in the test. So we don't see any listener registered. And that's the main point. When using the architecture of events and listeners, it's different from, for example, observers where you actively observe for the change with the observer class that already exists on eloquent model. In case of event, it's future forward thinking for whoever wants to listen to that event. So for example, I'm trying Cachette as a user of that open source system, want to modify it to my own needs. And for example, notify someone when subscriber is verified. So what I would do and how would I create a listener as a different developer using the same system where event was dispatched by the original developer. So let me demonstrate exactly that. Artisan command make listener subscriber verified listener. And in this case, we're using Cachette as a package. So there's Cachette core. That's why that listener would not be automatically registered because if we take a look at the structure that vendor cachette core has the event of subscriber verified. So it's in vendor. It's not in our project of where we use that cachette. So that's why the automatic so-called event discovery would not work and would need to register that listener in the app service provider. We do event listen and then provide event and listener. So event would be subscriber verified, which comes from cachette event subscriber. So in vendor class, and then another parameter would be subscriber verified listener class. Okay, so we registered. And inside of that listener class, we have the event, which in our case is subscriber verified event. And in this case, we have event subscriber as a parameter, which was passed in the model here. So this is a parameter which automatically goes inside the subscriber here. So we can do, for example, send email to someone, but for simplicity, I will just log something. So subscriber, this is verified, subscriber email verified like this. And then we'll go into Laravel log, which is empty at the moment, and we'll try to verify. So step by step. This is the table, we click verify, we confirm the verification happens on filament level. And then in the Laravel log, we have this subscriber verified. So again, to reiterate, resource of filament calls record verify, then that method calls the event and the creator of cachette doesn't know anything about what would happen after that event is dispatched is just informing the system and other developers for the future, then other developer, or maybe the same developer in the future creates a listener 
that catches that event, listens to that event, and then has a parameter of subscriber. And in case that Laravel event discovery doesn't work because your structure is different with events and listener, you may want to register a listener for the event in the app service provider. What do you think about this example in your project? Have you created events for others to use in the future as kind of a blank canvas of dispatching something for whoever want to use that in the future? And this is one of the popular design patterns, events and listeners in general, in programming and also in Laravel. And I talk about that in my new course, Design Patterns in Laravel 11. One of the lessons is observer pattern with events and listeners. Eloquent Observer is kind of the same implementation, but philosophically a bit different. So I talk about that in this lesson, and I will link the full course in the description below. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.